Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable with yourself and relax your body. And keep your back straight, neck head straight in one line and your right palm on your left. So gently close your eyes and bring your attention to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound, mentally relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathing with your thoughts. So do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Homage to the blessed one the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So dear Dhamma practitioners, when it comes to practice meditation, it is very important for ourselves to understand the technique we practice and at the same time, how the techniques can take us to, to go beyond the technique rather than stuck, hold it to technique or the mental object. You should know how it takes you to beyond the mental object. Because in this very conventional life, there are two kinds of truth. You have to remember it very carefully. It is not only one truth. There are two kinds of truth. One is conventional truth. So we have to accept this conventional world as it is. We cannot deny it. We cannot resist it. We cannot go against it. We have to accept this as the world. Conventional truth and the eternal truth. So the eternal truth means even though we experience this conventional world, there is nothing that we can hold as permanent. But the important thing is this conventional truth giving us access to eternal truth. So then if you don't accept the conventional truth, you can't get into the eternal truth. So when we our main purpose is gain the liberation. So the liberation means get out of the names and forms or the, all the mental objects. But to get into that, you have to have a primary mental object first. The same like this conventional truth giving the access to eternal truth, your primary mental object will give the access to, to go beyond the mind. So that is, a, that is the point that you have to very, be very clear while you practice. So then even though you focus to your inhalation, exhalation, because that is our basic primary mental object through these sessions, and it is available 24 seven, and it is free of charge, and it's, it's just with you in front of your nose. So no one can take it away from you. So it is available. When you're ready, wherever you are, the only thing is you need the, just the attention. And while you focus to that, you need, you, not, you need to know yourself 
recognizing the very character of the sensation or the inhalation, exhalation. And that character also, not that you're going to hold it to that whatever you see, you take the opportunity that whatever you recognize to get that recognition enter to go into the depth of that experience. So that means your mind come to a point not to kind of like a, hold it to something but to observe. So that is the, the practice that we have to gain. And when we practice ourselves, always we have to remind to be aware, to keep that attention to getting to the, the character of the sensation. So otherwise not on the top of the sensation to settle down there. Because in the very conventional life, that is the very nature. Be into sensation, be into feelings, and we try to settle down with it. But here, we're not going to settle down with that. Because the very reason, our very purpose is getting to the, the depth of the soul and recognizing the ultimate truth. So when it comes to the world, from the ancient time to today, the people used to observe most of the time outside world. And of course, it gave us some kind of privilege for us to experience this life. And we have so much things today. And people through their observation and their investigations, they contribute something to the world as a gift. So we all have that, everything today. This all the science, machines, technology, this everything is a gift came from our past. But the thing is, our purpose should be taking this all the, the facilities, not to stuck on here, but to move forward. And when it comes to that, we have to be very careful because we, we can have a very comfortable environment with this all the, the gifts. And, uh, but still, there is a one part of it having kind of like a disadvantage. So what is that? As you know, in the, in the beginning of the communication revolutions, we had the newspapers, TV, radio, and we used to get information out of it. And it gave us kind of like a connection. And it gave us kind of like a comfort. But today, most of the time we have the computer, cell phone, iPad, so those kind of things. And when you use it, what happens, even though it gives us information, knowingly or unknowingly, it takes some information from you. And more than any other time that the, anyone can track where you are, but your newspaper, your radio, your TV didn't do that, but your cell phone, Wherever you go, and people can know. And at the same time, when you use things, and it, it has ability to take your all the personal emotions. And by the time what happened now in this environment, that more than that giving us the facilities to to have the development inside and the cultivation inside us, the most of these facilities try to, to hold us and maintain us and keep us in a certain way rather than help us to go beyond the, the time 
it trying to hold it to to something so the because of that and we build up unknowingly or invisibly slowly we build up kind of like a social lactic acid inside us which later we feel kind of like unhappiness sadness worry disappointed that kind of things so then even though we accept this everything as conventional truth so you have to remember even though these these things brings us a kind of like a comfort you have to have enough wisdom to to rather than rejecting it rather than fight with it rather than stay away from it rather than shut down it using this all gain your inner development so that is a kind of like a challenge but when it come to the any challenge the one of the important thing it doesn't matter in the, it is in the kind of like a spiritual world it doesn't matter it is in a very conventional life that whatever the, the in front of us we have to take it as a opportunity that is a kind of like a key point so this conventional life this is our time period and this all that's everything whatever we have we have to take it as a opportunity if i bring a example it's kind of like a now after this all the civilizations that whatever the materials that gathers from our forefathers to ancestors and even from you through your whole sansaric journey developing lot of profitable skills you became a human and you became a person during this time period and you have this environment today so you have to take it as a opportunity it's kind of like a, now you visiting your construction site you see the cement you see the irons and you see the machines and everything now set up for you to build and the plan and everything there now all the material on the site so now it is your responsibility to build this rather than keep collecting 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 more materials so that is where you you gain the opportunity for yourself to to get the best out of this moment and uh, when it come to that you have to be very careful not to always invest your life for the outside even though outside things we need that investing your life for the outside is a kind of like a wasting your time you do things for the other people but at the same time you have to remember to gain the inner development within yourself because ultimately the most important part out of this all the practice and out of all this living you should know your mind don't die without knowing your mind so it is very important to know that uh, our self who we are and because otherwise we always clinging to something we always seem to that outside informations and we build up different different mental views so when it come to your mind when you observe your mind what you see so that is not you should bring something from outside world you have to you have to see it very raw level very natural way to understand it when you see your mind you see it is so crazy you know thoughts come weird thoughts come different different things you know coming and going you don't know from where it come where it go and you know it's, it's it's so crazy that's the very nature of mind 
don't think oh the mind oh my mind is so fancy so beautiful it's like a soul you know the, the rose garden in old days you know beautiful don't think like that when you observe it see when you close your eyes a little bit to focus to yourself see how it go crazy that's that is itself the truth so you have to recognize it and that is where i bring the more and more and strength to to go deeper to understand why this is don't think when you experience it your mind is like that don't think oh no 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 this is not my mind my mind should be something so calm relaxed comfortable oh it's kind of like a you yogi you know 100 years sitting in a meditation posture and without me don't think like that so you have to come to very conventional truth to accept it because that will help you to even little bit slow down and reduce and bend yourself view even understand oh my mind is so crazy and then you become so careful with the whatever you say or whatever you do things and you don't put too much validate validation on it why you don't put too much value on it why because you know your mind is so crazy and that is something that you have to understand that once you know that you you gain some kind of development in you because you see the truth you see the very conventional truth in you and then they then it, it take you to the deeper level to access to the eternal truth so when it come to that eternal truth then you you know it 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 you you get into the bottom line so in day to day life that the most important thing in the very conventional level try to set up your awareness your mind and try to deal with your life so when it come to that in that most important thing in very conventional level in any situation remember to calm down so you have to remember the basic principle we accept that conventional truth to enter to the eternal truth not to separate you, you use it to to go into other thing so then in the very conventional level remember yourself the important part is the understanding the mind and for that the physically try to calm down in any situation so whatever you do develop it as a skill yourself calm down that is what we losing most of time so the mentally the physically so maybe in the beginning mentally you can't do it just try to physically start to do it so physical mental calm down so that's the first rule and the second one is a very important so the don't 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 get into judgment don't develop any judgmental mindset don't judge the very reason is as you know now you saw your mind is so crazy with the crazy mind you can't judge so whatever that the judgment come to you is not going to be true you find in something else so that's why don't get into judgment don't judge it give a kind of like a, the little bit to step back for yourself that is what you need so don't judge and other one is when we when we can't recognize when we can't understand 
as a result of that, we get into judgment most of time when we don't have evidence, when we, we, when, when we have the unclear mind, that is where we come to judgment. Because when you have the clarity that, that you get out of the judgment, you, because you gain the understanding. So the first rule, don't the, 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 try to calm down. The second one, don't judge. And the third one is very important. Remember this, that we were all, we're trying to access to the conventional truth. Remember, accept people as who they are. And everybody different. You have to accept it. Your own child, your own husband, wife, Parents, brothers, sisters, partners, they are totally different. So that will give a kind of like a comfort for you and for other people even. To have a very conventional, friendly environment. So without that, you can't access to eternal truth. So then to build up that, you can't go against people or you can't challenge for people or you can't convert people. You can't develop a hierarchy. We, we always try to develop authority and even sometimes emotionally. And there was an incident. The father took her child for a gathering with other children. So now all the children are playing. And this child, this daughter had some toys with her. And there were some children didn't have toys. So this father thought, see, this father was kind of like a so generous, you know, and uh, compassion and think about others. And uh, this father told her child to this daughter, oh, you should share your toys with other children. And this child told, no, 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 this is my toys. I don't want to give it to anybody. So this father told, in a nice way, you know, try to explain, no, these children don't have their toys, you know, so you should share with this, your toys with others. This child told, no, this is my toys, I can't do it. Now, in front of all other people, this father a little bit disappointed because he was he's, he's trying to show that he's so compassion, generous. And then now he tried to conquer this child and try to, to show his generosity through the child. And so then he got a little bit mad. And now for the fourth time, he asked to share the toys, but the child didn't, you know, do that. And then later, he start to use his power as a father. You know, so then he took himself, you know, how the, the, some toys and he start to give it to other children. And then there was uh, another woman and saw this. And then later he, that the, she came to him and told, what you did is very wrong. Then he started to argue because uh, he, was, he was so proud now. He saw his generosity, you know, he saw his, you know, he comp his compassion to share it. This, then this woman told, you use your power, your emotions, your intelligence to overtake the, the child. 
And then the right away the father understood because the children's, the behave is totally different. And we try to make them nice. But sometimes that the way we think, they can't think. So then if you try to overtake with your awareness, oh, you should be like this, you should be like that. And sometimes we think for the moment, oh, we did it. But the mostly what happens, our emotions, our intelligence overtake other people rather than bring the connection and it slowly start to disconnect from others, our life. So when it comes to the world, if you look very carefully today and see that, you know, day by day, day by day, we know the good things and we try to teach to the world the good things, but still people little by little separating more than any other times. You know, people become allergic to people nowadays. And even though we talk about compassion, loving kindness, everybody, nowadays, everybody knows these words, but still when we come to people, they don't have it. So the very one of the very reason is, you know, we try to overtake others, especially children, and especially that the, the, the person who ever don't know something, and we think, oh, we know, and because of that, we have to do this way, this, that way. Oh, we practice meditation. Oh, because of that, whoever around our place, that they should behave well, because I practice meditation. You know, forget about that. It's not going to happen. That's why, whatever you practice, other people may not going to understand. So you have to accept them as who they are. And it doesn't matter who you are and how good you practice, how good you are sitting. And remember, don't try to overtake other people's lives. It, it slowly starts to disconnect from everybody. So that's why, you know, that, and sometimes we have, to, we have to teach what is good and what is right and what is wrong. But you can't teach, teach by overtaking their life. That is the key point. First, you have to accept it. I tell you one, one thing, remember in your life. And sometimes that uh, when it comes to our situations, if somebody, especially your children or your husband or your wife, if somebody did something, remember, it's maybe it's a very bad thing, wrong thing. Sometimes they did something and come to you. And how many times you ask why you did it? Why you did it? So after this all, and we try to justify us with our knowledge someone else passed it will never come to a point to bring a solution so if you look at the buddha's life whenever you have time hopefully if you you know if you have time to read some stories or the sutras take time and see whoever came to you buddha never asked from anybody Say that, they, you know, in many situations, murderers, thieves, prostitutes, you know, the beggars, kings, you know, right people, wrong people, good people, bad people, beautiful people, ugly people, you know, many, many people came from all the, the directions. But he never asked why you did that. See, he, he accepts the person from that very point. From the moment that had the conversation, he accepts that person as, as that person. He never questioned his past. Even it happened, you know, 
that few moments ago when the someone sometimes when the monks complain oh he did it or oh, he did that or so kind of like that situations you know i gathered and in that situation the buddha asks why why what the reason that you did but other than that when he met anybody with the you know personally in any situation he never asks why you did it because when you ask that in that very moment it's kind of like you separate the first person from the moment and that that sometimes effect for our connection so that's why it's a skill conventionally you have to remember each and every person different always remember that. it's not going to be same no one going to be like you so we have to develop a power strength ourselves to accept other as different people if you have the strength to accept that it 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 bring more opportunity for you to become a better person so that is one thing so the first one calm down body and mind both third one don't judge so this all give you access to conventional truth to enter to the eternal truth don't judge why because your mind is so crazy with that crazy mind you can't so the the third one accept other people as who they are and the fourth one get the very clear understanding regarding your own reactions from where it come why you do this it's it is your responsibility with your bodily verbally mental reaction you are responsible so look into that and see why you do this take the full responsibility to that when you take the full responsibility what happened you get the total control over it regarding your own bodily verbally mentally action so once you have it 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 itself bring the kind of like ability for yourself to to maintain and once you have it the very beauty is you not going to throw that all the mistakes to other people or other things and then when you are capable to gain all the responsibilities to yourself and when you are able to handle your own bodily verbally mentally actions you are more going to release the greed the hatred anger envy jealousy this kind of things why this kind of things mostly happen because when you don't have the capability to handle yourself the anger jealousy hatred envy disappointment those are going to be with you because you get the help out of that to cover up your own mistake so that's why take the responsibility to your own bodily verbally mentally action and move forward so that is a few able to do that way remember in this very lifetime that your conventional life become the bliss it doesn't matter you in the hell it's a very worst environment with the very worst people very difficult hard that everything go wrong in this conventional world but still that opportunity that moment give a kind of like access for you to go into the the eternal truth or the inner development or the your lip, the growth going to happen so that, that that is that is you know because that if you if you capable to handle that 
get it in that way. It's kind of like a become the soil for a tree. So as you know, the, when, the, when the, the soil is not a kind of like a, you know, nice thing, maybe it, is, it has a bad, you know, smell, and maybe it is a cow dung, you know, all the dirt, but when you put it to the trees, the trees has power to, you know, convert and get nourished out of the dirt and become better and grow. That's the skill that you have to have. So the, because the wisdom not kind of like a something going to hit your head one day. The wisdom means you're capable to understand, to convert the, this conventional truth to eternal truth. But most of us, what we do, we look to escape from the conventional truth to, and find the eternal place, truth. You will never find it. So you have to be very clear with that. There is no teaching kind of like that way. So, so then it is better. We have to accept this everything as the world. And we have to take it as an opportunity. And then so rather than hold it to that. Why? Because once you hold it to remember, it is start to overtake you, it start to hack you, it start to track you wherever, you know, then it becomes kind of like a disturb. That's, that, that is the thing. Nowadays, everybody can track. You may heard that Elon Musk, that one little boy, you know, tracking his one of the, 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 uh, the space uh, satellite or something, and the Elon Musk tried to give him $5,000 $5, to take, uh, take it out. Because once that others start to track, it's, be, it's become very dangerous because the, the, the same thing happened to us everywhere. That even though we, we have this conventional life, the karma also kind of like that things. When you don't care about these conventional things and maybe you, you don't know the mechanism and then you do things with the world and finally the, the, the world in age start to track you hack you. And that is another way that we call the karma. But this method bring you the wisdom. You don't allow world to track. You don't leave any kind of footprint to follow the karma. It's nothing to do you, you don't, because you don't do things with the self-centered mind to gain something. In the very first level, you, you develop your inner awareness and understanding and out of that understanding, your life is going to become more reasonable for you and for others. So that is the skill that you have to gain. So then remember, in this very conventional life, so this uh, you are you are in the, the place of your construction site workplace. So then use this all the material and build your wisdom rather than hold it to that. So with that, let's get into practice a little bit. So your right palm on your left and neck head straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. And scan head to toes three times yourself and say so patveva oh may I be well and happy. Three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. 
in this moment with this sitting. May my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalations and exhalations. So deeply and gently, breathing, breathe out three times, please, and find the sensation. And allow your inhalations, exhalations happen itself. When it happens through the sensation, recognize it. Do nothing extra.
Bring your attention to your body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Reminding yourself like this. With clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, Big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born, May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. forward, visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside, to your left side, and to your right side. Downward, and upward. to all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion 
from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest wishing yourself may all living beings in this universe be well and happy Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So first of all, we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. And also by the power of this meritorious deed, may all of us attain to the supreme bliss of Nibbana. May all your guardian angels and deities will receive these merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. Ittavata chami sampadang punya sampadang sabbe deva nuno dantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta nuno dantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe sata nuno dantu sabba sampati siddhya Imaya dhamma nu dhamma pati pati a buddhang puje mi dhammang puje mi sangang puje mi abdaya imaya pati pati a jati jaravya di maranam ha pari bungisami idam me punya kamanga savakaya vanho tu sabadukka pamunchatu. Bless you.